No, 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 it will be very, very short. And I explain you the reason about this. Oh, first, you see, Just because to, to remind you that Brazil is with, with S, not Z. Yeah. Just, but okay. <laughs> just, just a reminder. Well, this short history started in Athens. Uh, oh, sorry, not this Athens. <laughs> this Athens uh, with Landau. The true land out this one. <laughs> and it was in 1996. I stayed in Athens uh, in the Center for Simulation, Phys Simulation of Physics for uh, one year. First time I went to, to Athens was in 1991. I stayed for three months. It was a very nice place, wonderful uh, people to work with. And I went back in 1996, the beginning of 1996, and stayed there for, for one year. One day, we went to, to lunch, and we start just talking about, if I remember, what's about the meeting in, 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 in Athens. I, I do not remember really what was the matter at the moment, but the idea that came out was why not to start something like this in Belo Horizonte, in, in Brazil. No, the idea was not really in Belo Horizonte, was in Belo Horizonte because I was in the Federal University of Minas Gerais, uh, which is in Belo Horizonte. So it could be much easier for, for, for us to start something there. And then uh, when I went back to Brazil in, the, in December or January the next year, I started to, to make the arrangements for this first meeting. Uh, and the name, the name uh, was uh, this uh, Brazilian meeting on simulation of physics was, yes, with Z, at that time was with Z, now, now it's... <laughs> No, the, 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 the true name is with Z. That was just a joke. But the name came with a discussion with David. And if I remember, uh, Hans Hermann was there at that time. And I told to Hans Hermann, uh, Hans, we are going to, 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 to make arrangements for this part of the, 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 the Brazil meeting on simulation of physics, the first Brazil meeting. And Hans said, no, no, it's not the first uh, uh, meeting because uh, he told me that they, they, they made something in uh, Rio de Janeiro, probably the Federal Fluminense, it, which is in Niterói, is close to the Rio de Janeiro town, city. And he was very upset because I was named it first uh, uh, Brazil meeting on simulation of physics. But at the end, he understood and he came to the first. Oh, <laughs> so, but then uh, the, uh, he came to the, to the first meeting in Brazil. It was wonderful. Hans Hermann is a wonderful guy and very, very competent scientist, everybody knows. But let me show you Athens, you know, where Athens is, this, the true Athens, not the, the, the old one. The old one is, uh, you know, but this is where the things started. And then, this is the country war. Uh, we are here. Where's my, oh, my pointer is not here. We are here. Here is Rio de Janeiro, this is small state, São Paulo, here, this is Minas Gerais, and Belo Horizonte is here, it's right here. 
Uh, it's a wonderful state, probably the best state in this country, most. Huh. But, oh, believe me. <laughs> and Belo Horizonte is here. So the first meeting was there in 1997, uh, is it? 97. And again, Brazil with S. Okay, then again, Minas Gerais now, a closer look. Here is Belo Horizonte. Ouro Preto is here. Have it in your mind because we will need this, this town in a few minutes. But Belo Horizonte is here. It's uh, for 450, uh, 500 kilometers from, from Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is here, and uh, 400 something from, uh, 300 something, or almost 400 from Rio de Janeiro is this here, and far from, from this town. How, 2,000 kilometers from here, roughly? Yeah, is it? 2,000, 2,000 something. More than that? Yeah, okay. So then, Belo Horizonte is this is a small town uh, with three million inhabitants. Uh, it's a very pleasant place, and well, the food is wonderful. And uh, our university, Federal University of Minas Gerais, is one of the best universities in this country, uh, together with several waters. So, let's go to the first meeting. The first meeting was in Belo Horizonte. I tried to remember, Plaskak, you have to, to help me with this. My hard drive is a bit full, so sometimes I have to make some space to, to, to remember. Yeah, if I have still one, yeah, what? Uh, <laughs> you know. Old, but still there. David was here. Dietrich Stolf, Stolf uh, helped uh, very, very much in this in this meeting. Uh, Hans Hermann, Paulo Murillo, Paulo, Muli, Paulo Murillo. This uh, UFF is University, uh, Federal University of uh, Fluminense. Fluminense is in Niterói. Niterói is in, in the Rio de Janeiro state. It's very close to the town Rio de Janeiro. It's a, they are neighbors. And uh, Paulo Murillo was probably the, I believe, the first I, that I remember that made something uh, in simulation in Brazil. He worked in uh, aging and this kind of thing. And uh, he is now retired. He's still working, but he's retired now. Tadeu Pena was a, st a student of Paulo Murillo, but he's now in, in the same university. Uh, Rita, where's Rita? Rita? It's not, not here anymore? No. Oh, Rita was here. He's from Rio Grande do Sul. Uh, Américo, Américo, this is the Federal University of Ouro Preto, and Américo was also a wonderful guy. He, took care of lots of things. Without America, we could not uh, uh, make this, this meeting. It was very, and several PhD students. So it was a wonderful uh, meeting, this one. And the, 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 the works that were presented in this, in this meeting, they were published in the International Journal of Modern Physics. Dieter Stauffer was the editor and I believe was one of the first uh, uh, issues of this, of this uh, journal. So, let's go to, sorry. The second meeting was also in Belo Horizonte. Some other people uh, joined us, but then came a huge problem. The problem was the following. We had no money. It's a <laughs> what they did. 
Zosano. It's, it's a spelling wrong. It's missing one N or an M or something there. But I do not remember. You have to. Oh, is it? Good. Now I know. Now I know. I told you about my hard drive. I told you about my hard drive, no? Yeah. But uh, then what, what I did, together with other people, was to pick my money in the bank and put in the meeting. It was, and still today, the money is there. Nobody <laughs> gave me the money back. <laughs> CNPQ or the Brazilian government. But it doesn't matter at all. It's a pleasure to see uh, where the meeting uh, reached, what it reached. It's a, it's a wonderful to, to see that I I took some some uh, somehow I helped in this and this probably is my last one I don't know oh yeah and then in 2000 okay we had the uh, Ising Centennial was also in Belo Horizonte then 97 was the first Brazilian meeting. Uh, 99 was the second, and then this came in the middle, was the uh, Ising Centennial, and it was organized by Americo, was with this, I told you about him, João Florencio. João Florencio was just, uh, he came to Brazil, back to Brazil, he was in the U.S. and came to Brazil two years before, two or, two or four years before this, and he helped very much. Ronald Dickman, um, uh, some of you may know him. Ronald Dickman is an American guy that came to Brazil. He got married here, and he is now in, in my university, in my department. Uh, they were the guest editors. I am not here at that time. I was, uh, well, I, uh, I was heading in, in, in politics, in uh, Reasonable good politics uh, <laughs> in my university, not the, the, this politics, in, you know. Uh, well, it's better not to talk about politics. And then, well, the third, this one was held in Ouro Preto. At that time, I was the director of my, my institute, so I didn't take much care about this. If I remember, João Plascac was, wasn't it? 2000, so you got the microphone. It's not the date when, uh, of the, the, the meeting. It was the foundation of the town. I'm sorry. Uh, David told someone yesterday that the hills in Rupreto are really sometimes 40 degrees or, or, or even more. <laughs> uh, I have one left. Let me see. This is the idea that is coming over from time to time to make this meeting not in a town but in a river, maybe in Amazon River. In a, it's a good idea, isn't it, David? <laughs> the idea is to rent uh, a boat in, in Manaus. It's a main town of the Amazonas state, and go to the ocean, it will take one week, and then we can see everything around, and that's the idea, very romantic, isn't it? <laughs> and we can also, 
I, I saw you today with the, the small uh, monkeys, saguis. Uh, I don't know how many of you were there, but there were some, some small monkeys in the trees here. Someone took pictures. And so we can do the same in Amazon with the small pets there. And so <laughs> now I think this is the last one. It's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to take from the first Brazilian meeting, not in Athens, but in Belo Horizonte. And uh, at that time, we didn't have some facilities for taking pictures. So this picture is not from the first Brazilian meeting in Belo Horizonte. At that time, we had the Svieca school in Ouro Preto too. So I don't know if it was before or after the first meeting. So America took care to take these pictures in Ouro Preto. But for us right now, 20 years ago, it doesn't matter if it was in Belo Horizonte or in Ouro Preto, okay? So this is the David Triangle, okay? We cannot hear what he is saying. But perhaps you can read what he is saying. And it is about the Euclidean, okay, Eu Euclidean triangle. All right? <laughs> and we saw this morning a uh, dice. So, yes, it is developing, okay? So I think that from now on it will be non Euclidean triangle, too, okay? <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. So, this is a picture from uh, the third Brazilian meeting. We didn't have any time, any money for the second Brazilian meeting, all right, in 1999. I don't know how we can manage, how you can manage, could imagine to, to have that meeting, all right? But in 2001, no money at all. But, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we had the third Brazilian meeting. But you know, in the beginning of the 2000s, the situation was rather different, okay? It started to get better for us in research. So this is a, a picture, and we have here a picture for all the participants. You can see also that the, 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 the machine for taking pictures was not very good at that time, too. Okay? You have, you, yes, you, you have to have a, a good memory, a very nice eyes, a very good glasses, and a very good will, you know, to see this picture and try to recognize some friends there. All right? But it was in Ouro Preto, 2003, and uh, in the fourth Brazilian meeting, things got better. It was also in Ouro Preto. And uh, what else? Yeah. The Bismarck's heart, this is not very well, okay? But people asked me to name everybody here. I can't. All right, if you can, please, okay. So this is the fifth Brazilian meeting. It was in a different place, the, the picture, it was also in Ouro Preto, but a different place. And here's Americo. I don't know if Americo was in the... Giasi was here right now, I think he left. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, now, he didn't, now he's Americo. Uh, yes, uh, uh, all the meetings in Ouro Preto, and even not in Ouro Preto, America 
worked a lot. Okay, if, if it wasn't for America, we didn't have the third, fourth, and fifth Brazilian meeting. Okay. <laughs> All right. And here is it is the fifth Brazilian meeting, and uh, uh, David was giving a very nice triangle made from quartz and top as I say, Amazonite. Okay, I think he still have it sitting on his desk in, in Athens. Okay, it is very, very nice. You know, people tried to take a picture from this, you know. These two guys came as a gift for the, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here is the sixth Brazilian meeting. It was in Ouro Preto, Belo Horizonte in Ouro Preto. And people in Cuiabá, Paulo is here, they said, OK, we have money in Cuiabá, all right? So would you like to take it to, 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 to move this meeting to our city? Of course, if you have money, you ask people in physics if you would like to use the money, OK? So we went there for the first time out of Minas Gerais State. And uh, this was a very, very nice meeting in the Pantanal. Not in Cuiabá, OK? It is 150 kilometers from Cuiabá. So here, in order not to forget people, some of them are named, all right? Mainly the foreign ones. Because this picture, I sent this picture to the Brazilian agencies in order to report the use of the funding. Okay. So it was a proof that the people coming abroad was there, OK? Here was in uh, João Pessoa. João Pessoa, the seventh meeting, 2013. It was all arranged to be here in the International Institute of Physics at that time, all arranged. But there was, at that time, a conflict between the dates. Okay, it was not possible for to, to, to have the meeting here. In the week, in August, we had to have. So we had to change the place, and we went to João Pessoa. Here is the eighth Brazilian meeting, 2015. It was in Florianópolis, all right? So it is in the south part of Brazil. And uh, now we have the ninth Brazilian meeting here in Natal, OK? So you, we go from the very south, very north, to the far west, OK? <laughs> and here we have some pictures. I would like to thank uh, Nobuyasu because he sent me several pictures from uh, João Pessoa. Okay, so that well, that's why we have here some pictures from them. Here another one. Okay, here another one. <laughs> All right. You cannot hear what they see. Okay. They are talking to, but I think I know what Bismarck was saying at that time by the position of your hands, OK? And I can say what uh, Anastasios, he's from Greece, OK? What he says. <laughs> yeah, the other, OK? But I don't know if anyone here believe him, but OK. So now the tense Brazilian meat will be back in Belo Horizonte. And uh, I would like very much for all of us to join Marcia in her request just some minutes ago in order to make this meeting possible in two years' time. OK? I'd like to, to ask David to make some comments. He come since the first one, so you have plenty of history. Okay. Well, thank you. I will be brief. The first thought that anyone who ever organizes a meeting has after it's over 
is I will never do this again. The fact that we are now celebrating 20 years of Brazilian meetings is something special. And Brazil is not the easiest place to get money and infrastructure and organize meetings. And the fact that Bismarck's vision was realized, that he was able to organize the first few meetings successfully, and that he went to the great extents of becoming dean of science to get out of organizing the meetings, and Joao took over. As they've said, there were other people who helped a great deal in the organization, but Bismarck and Joao were the driving forces. And for me, it has also been very rewarding to see in the last few meetings, the younger generation, the students of these two august gentlemen have been taking over more and more of the responsibility. So I see that this meeting is liable to continue into the future when I come here with my walker trying to get to the podium. So I would like to congratulate everybody who has been involved in this, but particularly Bismarck and Joao, and ask everyone to join me in giving them a big round of applause. So we um, we pre prepared a um, oh I don't know I don't know what to to call this uh, uh, I, I guess it's a gift um, <coughs> to the three gentlemen who just uh, just spoke here and um, in the in the um, in the play we say. As a sign of our appreciation for your efforts to the advancement of simulation of physics in Brazil, I think it's uh, very fair to say that the three of them gave a remarkable contribution to the to the simulation community. That you know we are the younger generation are part of it because these guys were around, right? So um, the idea here is uh, each one is going to present his supervisor, right? So. Um, maybe this is okay. I call this Mark, it's good. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. May I take a photo? Oh, the photo. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. And the second one is to draw. <laughs> and then David, please. I need to tell people that you left your job. Well, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke about that, but um, <laughs> so this, the thing I was gonna say that you know I've been fortunate to have two PhD supervisors, right? Or perhaps I've been fortunate in spite of having two PhD supervisors. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you, you were my first, first PhD supervisor, so. Um. We parted <coughs> on good terms, and because he left Georgia and went to Ireland he met his future wife. And as people have heard me say, life is a Monte Carlo experiment, <laughs> and this is a wonderful example of a very happy outcome.
please. This is very unexpected. Thank you. <laughs> Right, folks. So that's that's all for today, right? We have the dinner later. You got, you must have gotten an email with the details, and um, I'll see I'll see you all later, but also hopefully tomorrow. <laughs>